Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at Redneckopoly. Now, if you're wondering what that is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the redneck version of Monopoly. Now, shout out to everybody who watched my videos. Y'all see me review the Ghettoopoly the other day. Now, let me tell you from experience. I just played this on New Year's Day. This game was a total hit. All right, everybody was laughing. Everybody was cracking jokes. This game was 100 times more fun than the regular version of Monopoly. Now, after I did the video, I read through all of the comments, and everybody wanted me to check out Redneckopoly. All right, so let's get into this one real quick. Now, first up, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from. Go to ghettoopoly.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. All right, so <laughs> I know this is, this is crazy. All right, now, if you want the Ghettoopoly, that one's going to run you $64.95. If you want the Redneckopoly, that one's going to run you $34.95. And if you want to get both of them together, that one's going to run you $84.95. Now, I know what you're saying. You could get the regular Monopoly for about 30 bucks, but this is a big difference than regular Monopoly. All right, big difference. All right, so let's check this one out. Now, I've never seen this before, so we're going to go through this together. All right, so you got Redneckopoly. You see you got the Confederate flag on the front. Now, I just got to throw a little disclaimer out here. I know a lot about being ghetto, but I don't know anything about being a redneck. So we're going to learn this together. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the back of the box real quick. I'm going to try not to laugh too much, but this is hilarious to me. All right, so let's see. Now, you got Redneckopoly. All right, now, this is part of the game right here. A tornado destroys the mobile home park. You got to pay 75 bucks. That's something that could happen in the game. Okay, you got dared to down a whole bottle of moonshine. Go immediately to the drunk tank. All right, you got shot in the ass by your cousin's new spud gun. Pay 50 bucks for removal of the potato. All right, the mullet is back in fashion. Collect 50 bucks. All right, that's some of the cards that's in the game. All right, let's see, um, get, getting down and dirty at the local hoedown, making moonshine, having your latest batch of crystal meth blown up in your face, building trailers and double wides are some of the elements in the game. All right, not dope enough. All right, if that's not dope enough for you, if you can't pass the field sobriety test, you might just land yourself in the drunk tank. All right, now let's see who supports this game. Let's see, I almost crapped myself. That's Willie Nelson. All right, <laughs> Willie Nelson. <laughs> A must-have in any Red Deck household. That's Barth Brooks. Let's see. Um, Y'all need to get this game. Dolly Parton. All right. Finally, the game I've been waiting for all my life. Jeff Fox Worthless. <laughs> all right. Now, let's take a look and see what you get inside. Okay. You get the game board. You get the Lone Shark tray. You get 40 trailers. 17 double wides. You get your pink slip cards. Gamble on redneck stash cards. Now, you got seven game pieces. All right. So, here's the pieces. You get a shotgun, a horseshoe a can of chewing tobacco, a monster truck, moonshine, a trucker's hat, and a piece of crap. Okay, now you also get the counterfeit money and two dice. All right, so let's pop this open. We'll take a look at the board real quick, and we'll keep it moving. Shout out to the little, little, little unboxing knife. Little, little, little one. Let's pop this open and see what it looks like. Now, like I was saying, though, the Ghettoopoly... Trust me, right, trust me. I know what you're saying. You gotta pay an extra 30 bucks, but it'll be worth it when you play it in your house. All right, it's definitely gonna be worth it. All right, so let's see what you get inside now. Okay. Now, we didn't beast mode because you need to save this box. Now, here's your official rule list. Now, if you know how to play Monopoly, follow the regular Monopoly rules. If you want, you can follow these rules. But if you like me, when you play Monopoly, you make your own rules up as the night goes on and as the drinks start flowing, the rules change as you go along. All right, so save this if you never played Monopoly before, but if you did, you know the rules already. All right, so let's take a look at some of these cards now. All right, so you got Smitty Strip Club. These are some of the properties. Okay, you got Trailer Trash Court, <laughs> Confederate Ammo and Arms. You got the Cracker Spitting Contest. You got Rusty's Meth Lab, Hillbilly Lake, The Holton Inn, Redneck Park, Monster Truck Show, Roadkill Bar and Grill, Sparky's Truck Shop, The Clan's BBQ, <laughs> Sloppy Joe's Rodeo. All right, that's some of the cards. I'm not going to read all of them. That's some of the cards. Let's go through some of the chants. Well, <laughs> or, or we, we, let's call these the Redneck Stash cards. 
Let's see, your batch of moonshine caught on fire, pay 75 bucks. Let's see, um, <laughs> you bought your grandpa a lap dance for his 70th birthday, pay, uh, pay 50 bucks. All right, that's cool. Appear on the Jerry Springer show, collect 100 bucks. Let's see, um, your house got towed. <laughs> All right, you had to bail your grandma out of jail. Yo, this is completely savage, yo. I right, complete savageness. If y'all thought, if y'all thought the ghettoopoly was savage, this is equally as savage. All right, your annual trip to Graceland, pay fifty bucks. All right, that's some of the, the stash cards. Let's check out the blue ones real quick. All right, this is a redneck stash. Bar fight, pay fifty bucks. All right, you got thrown off a mechanical bull, landing on his horn, pay seventy five bucks. All right, the mullet is back in fashion. Bar fight, <laughs> you got socked in your face. <laughs> Stumble back three spaces. All right, these are some of the cards. Okay, you accidentally mistaken your brother for a deer. <laughs> All right, crazy, yeah? All right, you tested positive for meth during your weekly parole meeting. Pay $50 to the pay fifty dollars to bribe the parole officer. All right, now this is cool. This is cool. You see the difference between this and regular Monopoly. It just puts a spin on it. Just puts a little spin on it. All right, so let's see what else we got in here. Let's check out the pieces real quick. All right, now let's see if I can remember these from the box. We'll see if, they, if they're recognizable. All right, this is a gun right here. Let's see what this looks like. This looks like some kind of hat. <laughs> Could be a hat, I don't know. You, you, you've seen the back of the box for yourself. What's this? Uh, like I said, I don't really know about redneck. I don't know about the redneck rules. I don't even know what that is. This definitely looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> this is a monster truck. This could be um, this could be the the what is it the pot of meth I don't know and this is a horseshoe, all right so that's the pieces right there. These look like your your trailers, <laughs> your double wides and your trailers. Here's your dice, and let's check out the the money. Okay, so you got five hundred bucks, five hundreds, you got one hundreds, you got fifties. Of course, you got twenties, tens, fives, and ones. Now, if you want to take this game to the next level, do like I did for New Year's, get yourself about a million dollars worth of prop money. All right, now I'll throw the link for this in the description. A lot of people was asking me about this. I got this straight off Amazon. All right, get a million dollars worth of this. Now, even though it's fake money, but when you're playing a game of Monopoly or Ghettoopoly or Redneckopoly, whatever you're playing, when you're having your drinks and you're having fun and you got $50,000 on the table and you lose it, even though it's fake money, it's still going to hurt. All right, so this just adds a nice touch to the game. So real quick, let's take a look at the board. Let me move all this stuff out the way. Let's see the board now. This is the part I'm curious to see. All right, so here's your board. Let's go through the board real quick. All right, you got your bar fight. <laughs> get your bar fight. Look, if you look closely, you see a boob popping out. I respect that. You got your outlaw motorcycle club, four-wheel drive, Redneck stash. This is the clan's barbecue. Th this is savage. They even got the hoods on. Look at the look at the apron. All right. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> Clan can cook. All right. <laughs> All right. This this is completely savage. You got the West Side Hoedown. All right. You got the W Two W Wrestling Monster Truck Show. Of course, you got the Pawn Shop. You got Sparky's Truck Shop, and you got the Drunk Take. Let's see what else you got here. All right. You got Sloppy Joe's Rodeo. You got the Cracker Spitting Contest. All right, this is the gamble. All right, so this is where you're going to put the gamble cards at. You got the roadkill bar and grill, south side hold down. You got uh, your dog ran away, pay 150 bucks. Mullet drive, redneck stash. You got trailer trash court and less bowl. All right, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> I know, I know. You got the Hilton Inn. You got Step Daddy Alley. Look at the picture. All right, complete savageness. Step Daddy Alley. That's some more gamble cards. Cheap, uh, cheap Trick Ave, East Side Hoedown, Redneck Ranch, all right, <laughs> the horse kicking dude in the face. You got Redneck Stash, you got the Redneck Park, the Confederate uh, Am on Arms, and this is busted. Go to the drunk tank. Okay, and we got one more side. This is our Smitty's Triple X Strip Club. Okay, look at the pictures for yourself. You got the Crack House. You got Rusty's Meth Lab. You got Jim Bob's Moonshine, making it in the bathroom. You got Northside Hoedown, Marianne's Yard Sale. Okay, you got Fat Bob's Eating Contest. 
the other I gamble cards, Hillbilly Lake, and you end it with the bar fight. All right, so, look, on a scale of one to 10, this is a win. Now, I don't know what kind of people you hang out with. If you hang around with a bunch of ghetto people, get the ghetto version. If you hang around with a bunch of rednecks, get the redneck version. Or just get either one just to have something a little bit different. Now, if you want, get the regular version of Monopoly. That's cool, too. But it's nothing compared to this. All right? when, you, when you're playing this, you're going to have a lot more fun than playing regular Monopoly. Uh, regular Monopoly. All right? Trust me when I tell you that. All right, so hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like I said, on the scale of 1 to 10, this is a complete win. All right, complete, complete win. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody. Hit me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rock with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.